Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to more of Let's Play Shadow of Destiny on the Black Shadow. Has been a few days since I've managed to last sit down this game. Life's been busy, haircut, all that sort of lovely good stuff. Um, but uh, it's allowed me to get pretty much the entire rest of this series up onto the channel. Uh, it's been really awesome to see a lot of you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, it's many twists and turns and mysteries and of course still trying to work out exactly what on earth is going on with this game. There is still a fair bit we don't know. Also, also seen the reaction to ending D, um, and of course the realization that Ike Kosh is actually Wolfgang Wagner, um, which is pretty damn badass and really, really cool. Now, last time uh, we had started our second run of this game because we want to actually get the correct ending to the game, uh, which we will definitely go and do so. And for that matter, I believe when we last left off, we were in Chapter 5, I believe. Yes, we'd just done uh, the Sibylla um, little side quest of getting hold of uh, the cat, bring it to her, all that lovely good stuff. So we still need to go and get hold of the antidotes and all that sort of bits and pieces. To be honest, there's actually not very much for us to do for a time being. Um, basically, as I, I've mentioned before, the endings in this game, um, it kind of breaks down to... A couple of big decisions that you make throughout the game makes the most effect on where your game goes. The first one being your talk with Margaret. And then your second decision... Well, that actually can vary quite a lot, depending on what you do, what it even is in the first place. But we'll get there in the end. So, I'm going to run through the game and we're going to make our way to the lovely Margaret. So having spent all this time speaking with Margaret about the future and getting her all excited, thinking that we'd seen Dana, all that lovely good stuff, it takes us to here. Kind of boring, really. But I still want to see what it's like. I don't know why, but I feel such a strong pull towards it. Won't you take me to your time? No, I, I can't do that. It's not possible. The future will change. After all, you're my. Huh? You're what? Now, before we answer this the way we're going to, which is saying, suggesting that we think we're ancestors, we need to readdress this situation here. Because you see, now that we've played the game a bit, we know more of the story, we have a better understanding of what exactly is going on here. So the reason we think this, or think it at the time, is because Humunculus suggested that that's the reason we have a connection here. That uh, perhaps uh, we're descendants of the Wolfgang family. Which, you know, is totally believable. However, we now know it's actually the other way around. We are Wolfgang Wagner. And therefore that means that Margaret's our daughter, right? Well... I think that's a bit weird about that. Is well, look at it this way. Ike's Wolfgang. He's got blonde hair. So does Helena, I think, and Hugo definitely does. Margaret. Hmm. Regardless, let me think about that a little bit. Let's give her an answer. Of course, we get asked a second time. Are we sure? We definitely are. And this decision takes you down the whole hover set of paths of all the other endings. This is the big break point. You either go down this side of things or this side of things. So it's all uncharted territory now. It's not as though I've looked up whether I'm descended from you or not. But you should forget about me and live a regular life here in this world. Oh, I see. An ancestress, huh? That's how you see me. Of course, Margaret had different ideas. I thought... Well, never mind. It doesn't matter. I didn't mean... I'm sorry if I've been a bother. I was out of line. Margaret. Oops. Yeah, she's kind of like bummed out. I, I was born here, and someday I shall marry someone and have children. 
grow old and die. And it's all been decided already, hasn't it? And then my child will have a child, then that child too, and all the way at the end of that repetition is you. That's what you mean. And if I were to break away from my time right now, you would never be born. So, this line here is why Hugo's threat when he takes Margaret in ending D, um, to just leave Margaret in the present, um, completely unable to get back, basically, is the is the whole reason he did that, because his series is that well. That'll completely break the family line, and I just dies, right? Or ultimately is never born. But we never saw that in ending D, so that's why it might not make much sense. Anyways, I'll stop interrupting. Something like that, maybe. I can't be sure. I don't have any memory of my parents, so... <laughs> I understand. Don't worry about me. I'm alright. You'll come over again, won't you? To tell me all these wondrous things? That's allowed, isn't it? I will. So, see you again soon. I mean, it's probably causing irreparable damage to the space and continuum, but whatever. Oh, Hugo. Did you just get that? Uh-oh. No, I heard everything. I didn't need to be a snoop, but it didn't seem like I could just walk in. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. Well, uh, here. Will you take it? Consider it a token of appreciation for all the stories you told me. I've had that ever since I was little. It's strange. When I touch it, I sometimes see a picture of this man in my head. He's not anyone I've met. He's much, much older, like my father's age. I have this sensation like he's patting me on the head. But it doesn't feel weird at all. Maybe I shouldn't have told you that. Very, very I'm weird. Strange now. No. Yes. <laughs> I've never told anyone about this. Well, anyway, take it. Are you sure? Yes. Something to remember. I wonder. Good job, sis. Hugo, stop eavesdropping. Thank you, Margaret. See you. Okay. For all of you who've not played or seen this game before, I wonder how many of you are starting to maybe twig what exactly is going on here. You'd be doing pretty well, to be fair. There's still a lot of missing information at this point, but maybe you can. So we get the uh, the goods and pieces, which is awesome. We now get ourselves the antidote so we can save our present self, and that's all lovely and wonderful. I want to quickly touch a couple of things that were mentioned in the last couple of videos about certain plot holes in this game and me attempting to defend them. So... A lot of conversations about the fact, obviously, that we are, if you think, to say, like, how we can screw the time continuum with Ike running into his past self or other self, and everything goes to hell. Understandable, completely screws it up. There was some discussion about whether, because Ike Kush is actually Wolfgang Wagner, how did that not cause a space time continuum destruction sort of thing? I will offer a couple of defenses. If you want to go just on, like, uh, the pure, like, what we see, the two never actually do touch. So if that's what it kind of affects it, then fine. But I think it's a bit loose. I think it's more just the fact that the two simply don't actually know they're the same person. And it's just like, how would you ever know that? Um, Wagner won't know at the time because it hasn't happened yet. And I at this point has lost his many memory so many times. There's no way he could ever realize it either. So it kind of like they almost protect themselves in a way. If that makes sense. I don't know if that's the best explanation I've got, but it's all I can offer. There is also as well talk about Hugo um, and towards the back end of the game when he manages to create this time machine later in his life and then gives it back to his past self. Now, this topic is actually addressed in one of the ending routes that I will be showing off. Um, so hopefully that'll explain it. Um, although I think that's probably a little less defensible than the whole Wagner stuff. We'll touch upon that when we get. Anyways, for the time being, we're going to make our way back to the present, cure ourselves of uh, the poison, and then I'll see you in the next chapter for something that we haven't done yet, or maybe haven't seen yet. Hey, look, it's a poster 
for that new movie. So you guys remember this chapter, the whole meditating I man stuff? This guy's movie. Who watches this kind of stuff anyway? <laughs> and we've got to obviously go back and speak with Oleg and get him to change the movie. The idea being that we can obviously get a group of people and that'll scare off our attacker, which seems still slightly silly, but whatever else. Now, we obviously talk about this chapter in a lot of detail and that there is a lot of things you can do here. The, the whole Miriam stuff and saving her life um, and everything going down there is all completely optional. Like You could literally, again, come here, speak to Oleg, get him to make the right poster, and then you're good. And you just, you just carry on with the game. Now, as far as Miriam goes, we have done everything in that chain. And that we've managed to, obviously, we managed to show you how you can run into her several times. You can save her life. And that's all lovely and wonderful. Uh, cause of his own death. Uh, and a love story. What the hell? And you can do that. But there is something else that we never did in this chapter. And the reason for the fact that we never did it is because I don't actually believe it was physically possible for me to show it off this is not confirmed this is purely my my speculation but i tried for a long time to try and show you this in the first run and i couldn't trigger it i think that this is only doable if you say to margaret that you're her ancestor and you go down this route so we're here, like previously, um, on Rudolph Street here. And if we make our way down towards where Miriam gets shot, obviously things will occur. So let's go ahead and start doing that. I mean, I tried so heavily to get to start to show this off to give you some hints of other things going on. But I couldn't make it trigger. So let's make our way down here, like we've done previously. And of course, eventually we'll get close enough. Let me hear. Gunshots. Gunshots. Now, we do, of course, have the ability to make our way again to the um to there, which he gets shot. However, I don't know the exact specifics of how this. I can't remember the exactly. There is something else that you can find. So if we go exploring around the uh, the south side for a bit, we don't immediately go. Humunculus? Hey. hell was that? Unfortunately, baby, this is still the same. Okay? Where? My baby. She. Baby? Lady, hold on. What's going on? Someone hurt? I, I don't know. Call an ambulance. So we know how this goes. Miriam was shot, although you can, of course, take measures to save her. But of course, when it comes to a baby... Did you see her? No. Did you? I, I don't know. So the question is, what does that mean? And for that matter, we still have no idea who shot Miriam. And we still have no idea why her baby was taken. Humunculus is responsible?
Now, this, of course, is where things start getting really difficult. Our ability to trust Humunculus is uh, rapidly declining. We'll go with that. Now, it should be noted that we can still, if you want to, you still have the ability to go back to 1980, and you can still save Miriam. And, you know, we should do that. We're good people. So... Humunculus... You might remember, actually, back in Chapter 4, I think it was, when we were... Um, it might have been chapter three. I forget exactly. Um, when Humunculus mentioned, like, super early on, something about, like, holding a baby. And it was, like, really difficult for Humunculus. So, we've had some hints about, about this situation. But again, it's just a question of why. What, what in the heck is going on here? Watch out! We are pretty awesome. Thank you. Only some straits. You really were trying to help, weren't you? I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be, lady. Don't worry about that. Are you all right? Wait, where is she? My baby. Damn, the baby. There's no kid around here. Are you okay, lady? Miriam, are you all right? I'm all right. You're bleeding. That doesn't matter. I'm all right. Where is she? Where is she? Hey, where are you going? Oh, I, I thought I'd see if anyone around here saw anything. Okay. Th so yeah, whatever we do, the baby goes missing, regardless. Hmm. Most curious. What's it about? A man with the power to defy time itself uncovers the truth behind a grisly serial murder. Hey, that sounds pretty cool. I like that kind of stuff. Hey, what's cool? <laughs> oh, the lady in yellow is funny. I am such a great fan of his. Oh my god, you too? That is so totally amazing. Good times. So... There's nothing actually to do in Chapter 7. We already explored everything that we can do there. That's alternates and all that sort of stuff with the bar thing. Um, I've, I don't think there's anything else for me to particularly show off there. So I'm going to see you guys in Chapter 8, where the real stuff is going to go down. Blackmail. Our daughter went missing 20 years ago. It, it was Dana's return for your... So, were you the one that stabbed me, too? No, I, I don't know anything about that. You may not believe me, but that's the truth. It is still kind of hard to not feel somewhat so sympathetic to Eckert here. Too? And obviously, that's the whole idea. You're meant to feel kind of sorry for him. Even though he did obviously I attempt murder on us. He, but there was one thing I've always found a little weird about this game. And I don't know if it's intentional, whether it kind of ignores the subject entirely for you to kind of re maybe try and pick up it, or it's to try and hide the uh, the elephant in the room here. Eckert's daughter's name 
was Dana. Red flags, anyone? Said he'd call again once you were dead. Please don't blame yourself too much, Mr. Eckert. The comb it somehow made me a sane man again. When I look at it, I, I feel like she's safe. When I hold it in my hand, I, I can believe that the blackmail was nothing but a piece of fiction and that my daughter is out there somewhere, happy and safe. It's as though I'm stroking her little head again, reassuring. I don't know quite how to express it. I must be getting old. It should be noted that this only appears on this route. No, I think I understand. That comb, I'd like you to have it. Are you sure? Isn't it a keepsake? Oh, God. You're... You, aren't you... Oh. <laughs> What's going on? I... You two know each other? No, it's just that he looked so much like someone I knew a long time ago. I, uh... Wouldn't it be funny if she just went and said, You look that like, guy who saved me from being shot. Woman Seems like the thing you'd know knows. And Eckert's around, he's like, Wait a minute, aren't you right? Everything explodes. <laughs> I'd rather not be told. Never mind. I am a one-man woman. And you know very well that you were that man. Oh. This also changes. It's so alike. Hmm? What's alike? This comb and the one I gave the baby, Dana, to hold. I don't remember exactly what it looked like anymore, but I think it looked like this. Sort of antique you know what that's why i see it now that's why i feel so peculiar about this thing mm. you too but i didn't think you would have noticed things like her comb i didn't think so either and that's why it's so odd i is it is it really all right for me to accept this from you now, I could uh, I could happily sit here and explain this situation, but I mean, this is for once one that I'm just going to leave here for you guys to puzzle this one out. You should have it. You'll appreciate it. Going. Already? I have to find out who's doing this. And so here we are. Chapter I don't eight. I've seen this picture before. The stone and the girl. Dana? <sighs> We're finally here. Now. It should well be noted at this point that we've only made one particular decision. And that was with Margaret back in Chapter 5. At this point, we can still get hold of any of the A, B, or C endings. There's only five sort of normal endings to the game. Well, technically six. Uh, I believe there's actually two sort of different ways to trigger the B ending. They're slightly different, but it's kind of the same sort of thing. Um, but we can still get hold of A, C, B, or C. All of them are available to us at this point. We haven't uh, committed down any path. And in fact, your decisions in the chapter make that commit very, very late on. So much like previously, what we're going to do... Make our way back to 1584, and we need to run into Dana. Now, our conversation with Dana is going to run a little differently to when it did the first time. It won't appear that at first. We'll still run into her and say, how's she doing? She'll tell us everything that's going on, you know, that she's actually really enjoyed being here. You know, all this stuff is, is exactly the same. But there is a difference. Dana. Don't worry about me, Ike. I'm grateful to you, you know, this world, this age. I feel like I've come home after a really long trip. That's how right it feels, and I mean that. So please, 
Don't look for me anymore. This is where I'm going to spend my life. I've already made up my mind. Dana. Oh, remember this? It's the red stone from that day. There it is. That stone's a... A look. Do you mind if I ask you to give that to me? Of course, you can have it. <laughs> if it weren't for this stone, I would have never met you. Never would have ended up right here now, talking to you like this. I've always thought that there was something very important about this stone. But that's okay. That's the reason I thought about having it included in my portrait. After all, I got to hear you again. Aww. It's kind of sweet. Here you go. Thanks, Dana. What are you going to do now? I... I, uh... There's someone you know that I work with at the manor house where I'm being looked after. He and I, well, we're going to start a life together someday, so... So I'm going to be staying. I'm really sorry, Ike. Won't you regret it? No, I won't. It's all right. Okay. Well, you take care then. Thanks. You too, Ike. Now, you'll notice that in this conversation, we never even got a chance to try and persuade um, Dana to come back to the presence. She just simply won't. She'll say that she's happy here. She's got a life now. She feels this is where she wants to be. And that's it. Can't talk her into coming to the present. Can't end up getting involved accidentally with the whole Hugo stuff. None of that happens. The last we see of her. And that's that. So no opportunity for us yet to decide how we want to choose this, where the story's going to go. That doesn't come for a little bit later in this one. So we're just going to swing over here. We're going to pick up some energy units because we are running a bit low. Which is a problem. And much like before, we have got the Philosopher's Stone. It's pretty, you know, pretty important. We should probably... Did you see that? Actually, that was pretty good. Did you notice that? He looks like He pulls it up. And he, like, drops it slightly to get it into his hand and puts it in. That's actually really cool. That's, a, that's an awesome little detail. I like that. Never spoiled that. So, again, we'll head inside with the stone. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Lovely family. All that sort of lovely stuff. We'll go give the stone to Wagner. <laughs> or should I say, ourselves. So, of course, we give the stone to Wagner, which we must do. Well, Humunculus tells us that we must do. Otherwise, of course, Humunculus never gets released from the crystal because that's where actually he is. So, if we never complete this uh, part of the chain, Humunculus just never exists. It's a bit awkward. So, we go 10 days on the experiment. To find that things, of course, are not good. It's a good thing no one ever sees us, like, teleporting on into the present. Like, you know, them. They just don't seem to give a damn. It's very, very fortuitous. So, once again, we head to, uh, to the building. It's obviously gone to hell. It's destroyed. The experiments didn't work. Is anybody here? And of course, we come down here to find this meter here. Is this a time machine? That can't be. But that sounded like Margaret's voice just now. Obviously, all of this is uh, a bit of. So here we go. We're back at the present. We've been called by Hugo, demanding that we meet him at the town square. And we at least kind of know how this goes. We, we approach to find that things are uh, not doing too good. Hugo, where are you? Lord, you're so noisy. 
I'm here, right here. Still pretty rude. Of course, we, yeah, Hugo, we realize that uh, it's a trap, it's a trap, it's a trap. Good old triple A situation right there. Hugo, you, you're the one that's been trying to kill me. What I really wanted was to get here earlier and stop what you were doing. But all my machine could do is follow yours. So I targeted This has also been talked about in comments about how exactly Hugo's machine works, this whole follow stuff. It's a bit confusing slash convenient. I 100% agree. It's a bit weird, but for plot reasons, we're just going to buy it. There's no way for my machine to outrun yours. And I can't stop the homunculus from being completed. So I'm switching to another plan. Hugo? I'm out for revenge, get it? Homunculus destroyed my family, and you're the one who had him created. H H Hugo, I can't believe that's true. I just doesn't seem like someone who would do a thing like that. There must be some other reason Father just disappeared the way he did. Hmm. <laughs> Hugo. Of course, we now know the truth. Your problem, you know. Stop treating me like a kid whenever it suits you, alright? I I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but it I know that homunculus is made of the philosopher's stone. If we got hold of it, we could save mother. Save? What do you mean by that? I can save her life. That's the reason I'm looking for that stone. This time, I'll succeed, and she'll be alive again. We'll all go home together and start over. You understand now? Come on, go get Homunculus. Bring her back? Hugo, what do you think you're doing? You want to raise the dead? The stone let Father create Homunculus. As long as I have the right materials, this should work too. Hugo, you didn't. Never mind. Just hurry up. Do you use that lock of mother's hair? Remember? Hurry yep. Up. Homunculus can't be. He always. Well, he just appears out of nowhere. It has nothing to do with what I want. Yes, he, he saved my life, but. That's about it. It just isn't possible for me to call him up. You've got to understand. I'll give you 20 minutes. If you don't bring him to me in 20 minutes, I'm just going to disappear. Sorry, sis, but I'll have to leave you behind in this age. Hugo, what do you think you're doing? Don't worry. Even if I do end up doing that, nothing's going to happen to you. Leaving your ancestress in this time. You understand what that means, right? Go on, hurry up. Now, admittedly, I do want to point a hole here. Couldn't Ike just take her back using his own machine? Suspension of disbelief, everyone. So, this has played out very differently. At this point, now, the decisions we make influence what happens. This is our chance to decide our destiny in this game. Now, you remember in the last time that we did eventually go back in order to try and mess with the time machine. Uh, we would go to, like, find this notes and destroy that. That doesn't quite work for this one. And indeed, there's a reason why we just got ourselves a bit of a glimpse of the, uh, of the, um, the device there. The game telling you that you need to work out what you want to do. Now, there are a lot of things that we could try to do, but this is where this game forces you to make your own decisions and asks you, have you been paying attention? Have you been watching what's been going on in this game? Have you worked out what exactly has actually happened? 
So, we have one clue that we've seen in this video. 1980. Miriam was shot, or now saved. We saw Humunculus here. We can't beckon Humunculus to suddenly come to us. That's not how this works, but... We did see him. Briefly. But they were here. What else can we do? Now, I remember when I first did this, it took me a long time to actually try and work out where and if I was even going here. But fortunately, I remember where we need to go now. And I believe we just head on down here. You'll remember that we saw Humunculus around this general area? I think they're down here. I think. I could be wrong. Well, well, well. Oh, how it feels. I want to meet you all as you can see. This body can get a little tiresome sometimes. It must be nice to have a few. Could you come with me for a second? Hugo's looking for you, and I have a few things I need to ask you, too. Mm. Hugo. Hmm. Which means you know who the killer is, I guess. Let me just get through those plans. He's going to leave Margaret in the present and wipe you, a descendant, out that way. That's the idea. You know about this? Since I was willing to give you time traveling powers, you didn't expect me to just sit around, did you? I twisted out a few histories. That particular outcome is just a variation on a theme, so it was fairly easy to guess. It's the sort of thing Hugo would think of. <laughs> so I. Oh, please, don't thank me. I just wanted to help. Switch. Just about the same age. <laughs> what? Is the Margaret you know blonde and blue eyed? What are, what are you saying? Switched babies? Isn't Margaret an ancestress of mine? Well, that's my theory. There's something. simplest explanation. Well, if she isn't the blonde, it means my plan worked. No matter what happens to Margaret, your existence is an assured fact. Don't worry. I'll stitch things back to the way they were after all this is over. You switched Margaret with Mr. Eckert's daughter? So what, Alec? You know the what? She was going to die alongside her mother. And I saved her life. It's harmless compared to Hugo trying to cancel your existence by stranding Margaret in the future, don't you think? I mean, it's pretty rude. Master Hugo's plans will fail, thanks to me. Oh, God. So that's what really happened when Mr. Eckert's daughter disappeared. Yeah. Wait a second. Did you murder his wife, too? Who knew? As if I'd risk myself in doing that. Do you have any idea how fragile my body is? <laughs> I'll have to take good care of it so that it won't break. I'm really not very strong. Just now, I have to rest a little here, and the next thing I know, there are people all over the crime scene. So I couldn't complete the switch. Mm, exactly. So this is the thing. 
He's saying that he had to switch kids here. But because there were so many people at the scene, although he took um, Miriam's baby away, he couldn't actually give the kid back that he wanted to. How would he have done that? He'd have been spotted. What could he do? I did manage to bring the real Margaret to this time. Under the name of Dana, of course. No need to worry. I don't believe the stunts you pull. Now is it starting to make sense? People's lives, their fates that you're dealing with here. Mm. You lost me there for a second. I sorry. But I'm not human, so I wouldn't know anything about that. You, but I do believe in the power of fate, you know. No matter how much you mutter, it always wants to go back to the way it was. <laughs> it has a kind of homing instinct, if you catch my drift. That's why we're having so much trouble getting Death to Jill off your mind. I know <laughs> what I said about not wanting to die. But you have to stop changing other people's destinies so casually. I mean, why do you have to go that far? Well, if you're that unhappy about it, I... Would you like me to change it back? Of course, it has to be after she's turned 20. After she's taken hostage by Hugo. Weird graphical Perhaps things. There's no point in switching them in the first place. Yeah. You 20 years isn't something you can just erase from memory and relive. Don't you understand how how serious time is? Excuse me? <laughs> Are you trying to lecture me, Alex? After all I've done for you? Humans are nothing but trouble. Really? Well, see you later then. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, no, we need... was weird also cool also still weird but we needed he said something weird homing instinct oh yeah no way was that it so dana is my <laughs> and margaret is mr eckert's daughter can that be it The real bombshell of this game. Not just that Ike is Wolfgang Wagner. Margaret and Dana are actually each other. Yeah. This is why Dana felt so out of place in the present. Did enjoy it. Didn't get it. Went back to 1580s and suddenly everything felt right. It's why Margaret really enjoys kind of expressing and obviously is, fan you know, is uh, really interested about all the stuff with, um, with Ike and learning about the actual future. Because it's actually her present. Margaret Wagner is Dana Eckert. Dana Eckert. Is Margaret Wagner. Yeah. My um my mind was somewhat blown when I realized what actually happened. I was like, holy damn. And then it made sense because I so the reason that Humunculus switched the kids is because Humunculus knew that Hugo was going to do this. And knew that the thing for um, for him to do was to threaten to leave without Margaret. Thus stranding her in the present and screwing with the entire family timeline. So he switched the kids when they were babies. So that when Hugo went to do it, it wouldn't actually work. This is also why Dana had no idea who her parents were. Because of course, the intention was to give Dana and put her in Margaret's place... But couldn't actually be returned to the family at all. There was no impossible. Why the kid just disappears, and so Dana grew up without parents, an orphan. 
has no idea who her real parents actually are. Yeah. Pretty insane. There is still a problem, however. All great and well, learning all this. Humonculus is just... Gone. We were meant to bring Humonculus with us, and they've just... I mean... They've just, they've just gone. Disappeared. We spurned the hand of friendship. If friendship is what you want to call it, admittedly. This is a problem. What do we do? I mean... What can we do? Demogus is gone. We've no way to summon him. Maybe there's something else we can do? I. This is going to be complicated. So, uh. Yeah. Got a problem. Hugo. Where's Homunculus? Get a move on, all right? Hugo, stop this! Hurry up, or would you rather I leave her here in this age? Go ahead. Huh? Hmm. Now we're calling the bluff. She's the only family you've got left. Are you still going to leave her behind? Shut up. What the? Eckert? What is happening here? Damn. I won't do the rheumatism any good. Here he goes! Hey. Got him! Yeah! Redemption arc complete! No way! You won't get away from me as long as you're after Ike! Help! That was some really awkward Sam. voice acting. Hugo, stop this. Please, I'm begging you to stop. See that? You've got family of your own, and you don't treat family that way. And Ike, he has people he cares about too. Don't you ever forget it. I feel the same way about my family. You think there's a parent worth his salt out there who doesn't care about his children? You understand what I'm saying? I'm someone's parent and you're someone's child. So I'm telling you, end this right here, right now. Even if you keep trying, I won't let you do it. You understand? Promise me you'll end this. Okay. Hugo. Hugo. What a badass. Sis, I'm really sorry. Can we go home? I'm sorry about everything. Forget the Philosopher's Stone. It's okay now. Hugo. Come on, sis. Let's go home. When we get there, I promise I'll destroy the time traveling device. What? Seems a shame. It's my way of making amends and turning over a new leaf. I left the machine outside town. I'm ready to go. Well, and of course, then I guess it's goodbye. Take care of yourself. Good luck. I wasn't sure whether I could pull it off, but what did you think? How was my performance as the righteous parent? Don't say that. It wasn't a performance. Really? You know, that girl just now, 
I guess my little girl Dana would have sort of looked like her if she'd had the chance to grow up. I got this strange feeling looking at her. Oh? Oops. But like, I just can't do it. He just can't bring himself to do it. Hmm? What's the matter? Oh, uh, nothing. By the way, Mr. Record, how's the arm? Uh, don't worry about it. It's nowhere near the punishment I deserve. I just hope you can be content with it. Oh, look, I'm not... What's that? Oh, that's him leaving. But yeah. Well, I kind of defend Ike on this I, one. I don't exactly know who they were, but I hope that kid and his sister have a good life. Can you imagine yeah. telling him the I truth so here? I guess I'll be going now. Uh, what about you? Oh, I'll be okay. All right. Uh, feel free to drop by again anytime you like. I'm looking forward to it. Take it easy till then, okay? I will. As they say, ignorance is bliss. Humunculus. I, I was trying to change my destiny. Mm -hmm. And you did. But was it all for you? You used me to make sure that you would be created, that no one would rewrite that part. Nah. Let's not have all this unpleasant talk about you. I mean, who cares, really? Yes. Yes, you managed to preserve my destiny. If you'd been killed... see so i was just being used all your talk about an ancestor was that just to get me to go back to that time well how should i know <laughs> oh by the way i know the digimon guy What? Oh well, you chose your own path after all, and I suppose we won't be seeing each other again. Your fate's in your own hands now, I'm afraid. Goodbye. Hey. And off he goes. I wonder if that bar is still around. I'll go celebrate for staying alive today. What, like five in the morning? Well, I mean, we did survive. I guess there is that. Ending B. There's the bar owner. There's uh, Oleg. It's all over. But somehow... It left me without a sense of finality.
We did good. But... We didn't quite... Didn't quite do good enough. There is still one more mystery that we haven't solved. It's one that I'm sure you may have all forgotten about, perhaps. We've been so busy trying to save our own lives and getting caught up in the whole Margaret Dana thing. But there is one thing still unresolved. One stone to unturn. One true story that needs its closure. I'll see you all next time for the re